I'm heading well, off, Mama. Here it goes again. God bless you, Phil. Happy trails. Be safe. Call your mother and your father and your grandma and all your fam. Safe travels. Have a great time. Enjoy creation, God's world, and I love you. Thanks, Miss Mom. You, honey. Love you too. Thanks okay. for letting me stay here and build the truck so much. Of course. <laughs> Congratulations! Woo! If you don't get the packing up shots, they might not even know it's real. because I just took the last shower and a real shower for a long time. You guys, I, I remember three years ago driving the same way out of my family's house, going full time in the Dodge Mahal. I even had a red shirt on too. And I teared up, man. I got a little emotional. It's happening. Tearing up a little bit. <laughs> oh man very uncertain future and I, I really like that I'm, just, I'm very excited this is exactly what I wanted so wow that's pretty crazy to look back on I was actually really scared of what might happen um, now three years later I'm sitting in my custom Jeep truck camper looking back on that me being scared was a good thing I was doing something that was pushing myself, going out of my comfort zone, and it was super exciting. So if you're thinking about going full-time on the road or just doing something scary in your own life that also is exciting and you think will come with a lot of good things, dive in and fail if you need to. You'll learn a lot. i failed a lot along the way. I've made a lot of videos and shot a lot of stuff that's really stupid. So with that said, let me quit chit-chatting and <laughs> let's get back to my first day on the road, okay? Okay, we'll see you there. Excited. Today, we're heading into Durango, Colorado. Um, we're gonna meet up with Brad, Sun Rover Overland, and Patrick, Elevated Overland. I'm gonna find a spot in the forest up here to take a break. Feels so good on the trail with the Apex product, sway bar and links. Actually having the sway bar connected again is just a game changer. And it actually feels really good loaded down. The long range tank and my water tank, all that, something's beeping. All that's putting weight really, really low and actually making, making the rig feel like handle better when it's loaded down because there's more weight, weight down low and your center of gravity's better. How cool is that? All right, let's take a break. Read your codes, eh? I have been working my ass off on this camper. Copy. Oh. I way over tightened this. Simple, but complicated. The sketchiest thing ever. <laughs> You'll see a lot of new stuff on the back here. The Demos Collective Shovel. Stoked to upgrade to that shovel. Um, you've seen the awning. Uh, you haven't seen the kitchen. The kitchen is like done, you guys, and you haven't seen the cushions. These are temporary, let me just say that first and foremost, these covers. Um, but yeah, the kitchen, oh, it looks like one drawer did open. That's not a good sign. But anyways, this is the kitchen right now, you guys. Quick sneak peek. Um, throughout the next few videos and the next few weeks, I'm gonna be doing videos specifically on my drop-down table right here my kitchen build, uh, my air system. There's my drop down table, look at that. Um, next fan, dome, uh, a lot of electrical, plumbing, 
Uh, yeah, the up-down air system. Yeah, really excited to catch up with that. I wanna show you travel videos of me being back on the road, um, but also fill in the gaps and show you how we built all this stuff. What do you think, Codes? You excited to sniff some pine again? Some pine trees. I'm excited just to not be super hot. I'd like to be cooler, but, um, but yeah. Really pleased the rig's squatting a little bit in the rear, but not a ton overall. All right, good break. The past two and a half years building this truck, my priority has been building the truck. My life priorities are changing now, right now. It's no longer about the truck and the build. We are back to my life and down to mob videos being all about the adventure and the fun. And yeah, we're gonna keep putting different mods on the truck and we'll show you that, but they'll be in different states. And of course, we're gonna have some issues and things to work through and we'll show you all that, but we're gonna be doing it while we're living out of the truck and while we're moved in. And I just haven't been moved in um, fully. I moved into the truck with the A-liner for a few months, lived out of the trailer, which was great to have you know, plenty of space, but I really couldn't explore the way I wanted to. So I got the rooftop tent on temporarily on the bed with the bed rack, and then once we took the bed off. <laughs> I got it done. So I put the rooftop tent back on. The last few years, every single day I wake up, whether I wake up in my camper, a tent, a trailer, or a house, or a friend's camper, or the floor of a shop, all those things have happened. I am dedicated to doing what I need to do to live on the road and building my truck. And that doesn't always mean living on the road. Sometimes that means staying with family, staying in a house while your truck's being worked on. And that lady just uh, was screaming, down to mom, down to mom. I wish I got that on camera. Oh man, I really do. I always love this part of the drive, these beautiful desert, almost Mars looking hills. All right, so we are at about a half tank. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this little button down here. And that's going to get my long range America 17 gallon auxiliary fuel tank uh, to start pumping with a separate fuel pump into the main tank. So we'll literally be able to watch, we'll be filling up gas, we'll be able to fill all the way up, also get a little bit more, maybe even a quarter tank more out of this. And this is the spot right up here that I love to stop, right? So it's really hard to get to from this side of the road. I kind of just have to dive on in there. Right here. There it is. <laughs> uh, that's fun. I'm really scared right now. I've got the Insta360 all the way up on the truck. It's, I've never run it like this. Scooch coats. So let's try and get this shot. This should be sick. All right, hopefully it stays up there. Uh, kind of makes me nervous. And I don't want to go too slow because I want it to be a sick shot. Oh, it just fell. It just broke. It just fell. Ah, dang it. Stairs here. Set them up on the side there. Drop down table was a hit tonight. We're gonna undo our latches and pop top here.
Man, these rigid scene lights sure are nice. Light up the scene all around the truck as we pop our top. Ready for bed here. It's 1 a.m. and I'm just super stoked and I don't want to go to bed. It's so cool around here. Uh, the greenery and just where we're socked in next to this little creek on Patrick's property here. Yeah, I'm so excited to be not building the truck anymore, be fully moved in. And just to be focused on fun adventures and fun videos, making fun videos for you guys, meeting up with people, doing walkthroughs of their awesome trucks and campers and vans and yada yada. So we'll see you on the next one. The only question is, are you down to mob? <laughs>